What's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox news video. Today we're proud to announce that LaunchBox 9.2 has been released. Like with every major LaunchBox update, there's some new fixes, some improvements, and some awesome new features. On screen now you see the change log. I will leave a link in the description. And first up, new premium feature, game startup and shutdown screens are now available in LaunchBox and BigBox. These are fully themable. They're on by default and you can disable them separately in LaunchBox and BigBox. So you can turn them off in LaunchBox if you wanna do some testing with different games and you don't wanna see that startup screen, but then have it enabled in BigBox when you got everything ready to go. There's also some emulator specific options. I wanna show you a few of these real quick. So we're gonna move over to LaunchBox. I've been looking forward to this for a long time and in order to use it, you need to be a premium user Plus, you need to have LaunchBox 9.2 or higher installed. Straight out of the box, I haven't changed any settings at all. I'm just going to launch a Super Nintendo game. And here's our startup screen. I'm going to press Escape. Here's our shutdown screen. So this is really awesome. It's pulling images that we've already downloaded for each game. Let's go to Nintendo 64. And there we have it. There's a few settings I want to go over real quick, and we can also theme these. And there's a few themes available on the LaunchBox forum right now. Tools, Options, Game Startup. So minimum startup screen display time. Mine set at three seconds. Minimum shutdown screen display time set at three seconds. My startup theme is set to default, but I'm going to go ahead and change this to center logo. And if you want to download this, it's on the LaunchBox forum right now under the download section. It's by Retro808 and I want to give him a big shout out because this is awesome. I'm really liking this one. So I've switched it over, center logo, click OK. I'm going to start up the same game. Got the center cartridge, got my box art, got a little screenshot. Press escape, but when we move over to disc-based games, let's say Giga Wing 2, we get that spinning disc. And I think that is awesome. You can turn the time up a little bit if you want to. I'll escape. I also want to show you another one here. Default 3D boxes over here on the forum by Neil9000. This one's pretty awesome too, guys. So go ahead and download these. These are some of the first ones out right now. We have two ready to go. Let's go with Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Non-centered. I think it looks amazing. Personally, I just want to thank Neil9000 and Retro808 for coming out with these so quick. They look amazing, guys. There's also some emulator specific settings in here. We'll go to tools, manage emulators. I'll go to retro arch, game startup screen, enable game startup screen. You can turn this off for a specific emulator, hide mouse cursor during game, aggressive startup window hiding, hide all windows that are not an exclusive full screen mode. This option may make for a cleaner startup sequence for some emulators that use exclusive full screen mode. If you see a black screen, this isn't gonna work for you. Go ahead and uncheck it. We also have startup load delay, set at five seconds. This doesn't work well with exclusive full screen mode emulators, so you kinda gotta experiment with it. Hopefully down the road, we get some new theme creators to make some new startup and shutdown screens that are just out of this world. And I'm sure it'll happen. Just give it a little bit of time. This was just released and there's already two on the forum to download. The new startup screens will also show a progress bar while ROM archives are being extracted. So like I have all of my PS2 games zipped up. It's going to give me a little progress bar while PC SX2 is extracting them for me. With the new startup screens, you can also cancel launching the game by pressing escape. So let's say you have it set to three seconds. You start a game, decide you didn't want that game. You got three seconds to hit that escape button. It'll close it right out before the game even starts. Another new feature is export copy ROM files from selected games to new folders. I want to show you how this works because I think this is pretty cool. 
This works really well with the new generate playlist option. So I'm going to go to playlist and let's just say I wanted all of my midway games or all of my rare games from N64 exported to a different folder so I could use them somewhere else. I'm just going to click on a game, control A, got all of these highlighted, tools, export copy ROM files from selected games to new folder. So I'm going to go through here, let's just do it on my desktop, make a new folder, N64 Rare. So it successfully copied those 11 games to my desktop and they're in my N64 Rare folder that I created on the desktop. There's always some new improvements. Like I mentioned, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to the changelog in the description. But one fix that I was excited about was this right here. Various big box screen positioning issues with multiple monitors that use different DPI settings has been fixed. So this really helped me out a lot because on my main PC that I run LaunchBox on all the time, I have two monitors set up. When I'm running big box, I got dual modes going. They are not the same monitor. Since the fix has been released, I haven't noticed any weird screen positioning issues on my second monitor at all. So if you're using two monitors, this should help you out a lot. So that's it for this video, guys. Really appreciate you watching. We hope you enjoy LaunchBox 9.2. I'm going to leave some links in the description where you can go and download Retro 808 Center Logo Startup Theme and Neil 9000's 3D Box Startup Themes. Personally, I think it's an awesome addition to my LaunchBox setup. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching. <laughs>